Hoika, hoika, hoika. Hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'll be showing you on how to import an anim file into Wadudo. But first things first, I do want to give some information about what is an anim file and some other things to keep in mind about. If you already know what an anim file is, simply skip to this timestamp right here and get straight into the instructions. Otherwise, let's go ahead and talk about what are anim files. So, an anim file is short for animation, and it's a file format that is created primarily in Unity and can only be open in Unity. So, it cannot be opened in Blender or Maya or any other 3D program, but anything Unity related. Now, when it comes to VR chat or VTubers, Usually it's the SDKs like VC Face SDK, Vingun SDK, and then VRChat SDK. Those are the only ways you can be able to import anim files into your VRChat or VTuber setups. So for Wadudo, you can use the SDK to convert an anim file to Wadudo format, which used to be the old method of doing importing animations to Wadudo, but now with an update that did happen quite a while ago, we're actually able to just directly import anim files into Wadudo instead, which is really convenient. You can even take your VRChat anim files and just slap them into Wadudo, call it a day, like that. Now, do keep in mind that anim files can either be humanoid or non-humanoid, so do keep that in mind before sharing the files around. And depending on how you animate your anim files, they can also be very avatar specific if it's non-humanoid. So, think of anim files kind of like the equivalent of how MMDers with their VMD motion sharing meme animations. Unity is anim files. Now regarding humanoid anim files, do keep in mind that if you wish to use them in Wadudo and share them around easily, you have to make sure that you use a T-Pose model in order to create the animation and also make sure that if you're, you know, taking from an FBX file from whether it's Maya or Blender that you animate from and you're taking into Unity, make sure to register it as a humanoid rig under the configurations of your FBX file so that way it can retarget much more easily when sharing files to other people. And I hope that information helps you out understanding anim files better. Now let's get into the importing. So where do you get your anim files from? Because there are two ways you can get anim files, one being from different websites, the other is make it yourself. So to start off, for those who prefer pre-made ones, you can go on Booth or VRC Mods, Gumroad, Jinxie, Kofi sometimes, pretty much wherever VRChat people go to buy or give away resources that you might have a chance of finding in anim file there. Now again, keep in mind, like I said, there are humanoid and non-humanoid anim files. So for non-humanoid, it might be harder to share because it can be very avatar specific. But for humanoid anim files, they're more easier to share because it's easy to retarget. So for example, PH Motion Works, they sell anim files. They're humanoid and they're easy to retarget. So they work easily with VR chat use and also Wadudo as well. So this is a great example. You can buy their animations. I'll link their shop in the description if you want to check it out. Some really good ones like this one here or the Shikanoko dance or the Pokey dance. Like they have really high quality stuff. So definitely check them out. So what about animations you made from Blender or Maya? Now, I do want to elaborate this for non-humanoid animations. I, like, really heavily emphasize this. So, to start off, I heavily recommend that for the animation, uh, non-humanoid animations, please make sure you animate them in Unity itself and on your normalized Wadudo prefab because Wadudo normalization can cause some weird issues. For example, if let's say you animate your wings moving in Blender, then convert the FBX to an anim file and then directly import that into Wadudo, there is a chance that the wing bones, right, the wing bones between Blender and Wadudo, they'll probably have different values and then What's gonna happen is that your wings gonna get so crumpled up. You ain't gonna like it. So This is the reason why I say 
that for non-humanoid animation like ears, wings, tails, whatever that isn't part of the human limbs or like, you know, anything like little accessories, I heavily recommend animate them in Unity and on your normalized character prefab just to make things easier for you. For this video, we're just going to be talking specifically about humanoid anims here. Let's say for example, the doodle animation I have here because it's going to be a lot easier to do this process of the AM file into Warudo was a humanoid anim. So right here, you import your FBX and then what you're going to do, again, make sure human the humanoid FBX is T-Pose, also has a skin mesh, so that way it properly works with Unity, again, for Warudo, because it has to be T-Pose for retargeting and stuff, and has to be humanoid. So make sure you go to animation type, humanoid right here, click on apply, and that way it should work and i heavily recommend using the mixamo model if you want it to work the best but you could use any model just keep in mind that if it has any extra bones or accessories to go your configuration and remove the jaw bone and stuff so keep that in mind now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the arrow right here we're gonna click on any of the little triangles right here then You'll have to do, uh, you can click on the play just to make sure it's working fine, looks correct here. Then I'll do control D to duplicate the anim file. I'm going to right click, rename it into, let's say, the doodle dance. And over here on your settings, you can configure these to however you like. For me, this is, is a very short animation that I want looping, so I want to have the loop here. I also enable these three checkboxes, mainly just to correct the root position so it doesn't drift like crazy. Sometimes there may be a chance, depending on how you animate it, where in Warudo, you may still fly away over time. You may want to just check your keyframes and experiment or adjust these settings kind of like trial and error to see again it really depends how you animate it and stuff that's if you ever experience that issue mostly these settings or just change your like for instance change your root keyframes here you could delete it or just make sure there's like one uh one keyframe for the root that doesn't do too much so because sometimes that happens now Let's go ahead and put this into Warudo. So right click, click on show and explore right here. And then what you're going to do is that in Warudo, make sure that Warudo is opened up. You're going to click on the Warudo editor here. Click on the purple paw. Then open data folder right here. And then over here under streaming assets, you'll then go into character animations. And then what you're going to do is you're going to find the anim file that you created and you can do control c then control v there you go and once you have that you will then go into character asset animation tab right here then find idle animation here and you can either go to preview gallery or simply click on the list and scroll all the way to the top and see doodle dance right here or the animation now there may be some bugs that may occur when it comes to your animation so for example I sworn I made this a looping animation and it's not working so if you ever experience a weird bug like this where you did some adjustments or made the animation loop and for some reason it don't want to loop you can go back into unity right here and you can maybe try to duplicate the animation again so control D then right click show and explore right here and then take the duplicate animation try putting it into your character and animations folder here again and then try reloading the list and see if that helps because for me whenever i duplicate the animation it actually fixes the issue for me so now i'm doing the doodle dance so there you go now a little bit of a note also is that uh, right here you'll see that there's an anim bundle file because the way that Wadudo kind of uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong but the way that Wadudo works when it comes to the anims is that you put the anim there Wadudo will detect the file and what it does is that it will in real time convert this anim file into an asset bundle so kind of makes it convenient for you uh, but I will make a note that if you do try to 
update. Let's say, oh no, I did some issues with my animation right here and I'd like to update it. Please make sure to delete the anim bundle file here or just delete the entire thing so that way you can actually do the updates you know, without having to close Wadudo because if you try to like update the anim file itself and the anim bundle file is still there, it's not going to update. You have to delete the anim bundle and then let Wadudo regenerate it so that way it does it properly. And then you can check the list here again, scroll up, and it works. There you go. So I hope that shows you on how to import anim files but not just importing anim files but also explaining where you can get them and some possible difficulties and other technical stuff because it's 3d you cannot avoid the technical stuff when it comes to anim files or just 3d in general but i do hope that the extra information i provide helps you out and yeah let me know if you have any other question please join the wadudo discord server in the description below and have a lovely day and take care Bye bye! Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership, so if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise, though, just your support means so much to me, and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way, though, with that being said, though, hey, 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 goodbye, bye, everyone! I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye!